Yeah. Who is you? I? Who are you? 150 <laughs> rounds <laughs> in the <laughs> UI. <laughs> I'm chasing big cheese. One on one, you can't get these. Nope. Embalming floor mixed with mint leaves. We call it wet, wet. My niggas just set. Yeah, we always on the go. Y'all just get set. Yeah. I'm an OG Speed. Been rocking with him for years. Before he went down and everything, and still here today. You know, we got new projects coming up. Work with a lot of people. So, you know what I'm saying? The streets know what you got coming up, Speed. I mean, you already know, Speed the one chained out. Right now, in the stores, go get it if you ain't got it. Download it, buy it, cop it, burn it, steal it. I don't care what you do, as long as you get it. I don't care. Still supporting. Yeah, I don't care. At the end of the day, like, I'm working. Memoirs of Fallen Soldier, my next mixtape, I'm gonna probably put out probably in the next month or so. Other than that, man, I'm doing everything, man. Uh, movies, TV, everything, man. Writing books. I'm just trying, I'm trying to keep it moving, man. You know, I'm trying to build a brand here, man. You know, rappers a dime a dozen. Right. Uh, um, who, who you working with far as in the future, like far as the city and outside the city? I work with everybody in the city. Like, you know, I ain't got to get in the name dropping because everybody, yeah. I work with everybody. Like, I don't have picks. I work with everybody, but I, I've been working with a lot of other artists. You know, I've been... I don't know, I don't want to let the cats out the bag. Mm -hmm. I like to surprise people, but, yeah. you know, I'm doing I'm doing all types of stuff, man. I'm trying to, you know, live, learn, prosper, and move on, you know? I don't take stuff personal. People tell me they don't like my bars or they don't like this. I don't. Every man's entitled to his own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Every man's entitled, he has his own free will, you know? I lost my free will for a lot of years, so I genuinely appreciate other dudes when they genuinely use theirs. You know what I'm saying? Something people take for granted every day, and you'll never pre you know, take for granted until you lose it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, as far as that, I always give up bars, and I always, you know, the music and all of that stuff is just, you know. But at the end of the day, like Hot was saying, like, I think more people, you know, I try to give people more than just raps. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they hearing a nigga rap on every corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they're not getting real rap out of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a dude, any dude, you talk to any artist, any artist you interview, ask them, can you ever meet Spade? Spade, gonna, they're gonna say, yeah, Spade gave me some real rap when I met Because I just try to get dudes the game, for real. Like, in life. Like, and I'll, I think it's a shortage of that, and I think that's why a lot of Philly artists stunt their growth. I mean, you know, they do a lot of this, they do a lot of that, but they still end up stuck right here, where they at. Because they don't know how to make the transition, man. You know, it's, it's a difference between a rapper and an artist. It's a difference. They don't know how to make the transition. And that's what I be trying to give game, man, because it was like sad to me that I was going all those years. When I came home, it was like one dude out the whole city was on. And that like, that was like sad to me. And I was like, you know, what, what everybody, what y'all been doing? And there's so many hot, talented dudes here. And I'm like, yo, like, come on, man, focus. And I see people, they be like, oh, baby, we inspired by what you're doing. And I'm like, nigga, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just getting up every day and going to work. I'm just getting up every day and going to work. I ain't doing nothing groundbreaking. I'm not doing nothing ex extravagant. I'm not doing extending no resources that is not available to every other artist in this city. It's like, just get up and go to work. Get up and go to work. Like, get up every day with a plan. Get up every day. Move a, if you move a half an inch forward today, you further ahead than you was yesterday. Like get up and do something. Like it's not, it's not that groundbreaking. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't achieve the ultimate level of success. Maybe you don't achieve whatever. But at the end of the day, man, you know, it ain't gonna. Don't let it be from lack of effort. You know what I'm saying? Be, let it be. It just didn't work. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it just ain't gonna work. But don't let it be because you got lack of effort. I don't, I don't think we grind hard enough. I mean, you know, some dudes grind, but it's like, grinding, you moving side to side, you moving laterally, like, make 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 moves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make make the proper moves. And that's like, you know, that, that come with the emergence of social media that give people a false sense of security. Because it's like, all right, you got a buzz, people know you, people hear you, people, all right, and what? You know what I'm saying? Now what? You got so many dope rappers in this life. I'ma live forever. Yes, you a rapper, okay. So you rap my head over. 200 bars. Give me 200 bars. My ears are bleeding. Ask me one question. Bro. How do I sell that? How do I market that, man? How do I sell that? How do I sell that to somebody? What you just did, how do I sell that to somebody? Young Flavor.
and 90 percent of them can't answer that. Why? Because in their heart of hearts, they know you can't sell it to nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's that's the whole thing. Like, know your craft. Like, you get all those artists from other places, like down south and those places. Yeah, maybe they they spit, they can't spit with us. Can't tie your sneaks. But you can put them in that studio and they can come out there with a record. That somebody can sit. And that's what it's about at the end of the day. This is not the rap game. This is the rap business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's far from a game. This is the rap business. And the people behind the scenes make more than the rapper. Oh yeah, definitely. It's more, it's more, way more important now to be marketable than it is to be talented. Mm-hmm. This is just the realities and this is the philosophy. People want to see you. You have to be a marketable product. At the end of the day, as a rapper, you are a product. You're an artist, you are a product. You're, if you sign a Universal Records, you're a product under uni- the Universal Corporation. You're a product. If they can't sell it, what good are you doing? And at the end of the day, it's like, I be trying to tell them, it's like, okay, you do it. You can rap. But you still, you, you bought a hundred. I tell dudes all the time, I say, man, you ain't you don't know how to rap until you made your 50, 60th song. You don't really know how to rap. Like you rapping, but you ain't find yourself yet. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't find your pocket. You didn't know what it is that's you. You didn't find your voice, your flow, your style. It takes a while. Because when you because when you first start. You make a rap for your homies, because they're the first your first fans. So you want to talk to stuff that's relevant to your block and the niggas that you be with. Then you start you fall into the lane of making the stuff that you hear on the radio and the artists that you like. Or you, you emulate or you idolize or whatever. You don't know it, but you start sounding like them. You don't know it. Then you gotta get that stage out your system. Then you start making some okay songs. Then you really, after a while, then you really find your pocket. That's when you're ready to go. When you really find your pocket. And it take a while. It ain't easy. I don't think like artists coming up now. And I said this to somebody and they looked at me crazy. I said, man, y'all don't have a foundation that we came up. Why? Because y'all got it easy. Y'all can make a song, get a dude to shoot you a video, your homie that got a camera, and put it up on YouTube and get it around the world. We couldn't get our music around the block.